All right, guys, welcome to our webinar. Tonight, we are going to be diving into some ways for getting kind of back in your wellness groove after you've been on vacation, or really this can apply to any time that you've been out of your routine. But I know that so many of us right now are traveling, maybe something we weren't able to do last year. So I know so many people who have been away or just like even having staycations and stuff like that. And then you try to come back into your regular routine and it can be really hard to go back to those good, healthy habits that you know are so important and you know, you're going to feel so much better when you do them. But the actual doing of it after you've been out of the groove for a while can be tricky. So that is what we are going to chat with you about tonight. Give you some tips. So I am Annie. For those of you who do not know me, um, I am the founder of Team Better Than Yesterday. I am a mom of three. I have a almost nine-year-old, which is crazy, um, nine-year-old, six-year-old, and four-year-old. Um, I am a small business CFO turned coach. So as of a year ago, coaching has been my main thing, which is super exciting. I absolutely love what I do. Wake up excited with so much passion and purpose every day. Um, I love renovating. We live in an old farmhouse, so lots of renovation needed <laughs> to keep up with it. Um, I absolutely love animals and being outdoors. And, and I am Kelly, for up. those of you who don't know me, um, good thing I'm live, my photo is just <laughs> not there. <laughs> I am a mom of two boys, a six-year-old and a two-year-old, and I am a licensed PT assistant that two years ago turned full-time coach as soon as I had my second little boy. And I'm really anything outdoors. I used to compete with cross country skiing. I love to hike. I love to camp. Just truthfully anything outside. And I am the founder of Team Hustle Fit Empire. All right. So our first big tip for you is that part of this, unfortunately, this is one of the more challenging things to do because it's not so laid out like here are the steps to follow X, Y, and Z. Part of it is getting things right up in your mindset. So you need to get yourself in the right mindset. So I highly recommend one actual specific thing that you can do is before you leave on the vacation, have that like restart. And I hate using the word restart because you really are just picking up where you left off. Um, but have that date in mind, set that before you even leave and ideally make it not too far out, right? You don't want to be like, I'm going to come back from vacation and get started in like a month. <laughs> like let's pick within like a few days of you getting back a good target so that you get settled back at home, but you also are able to get back in that routine really fast because we all know that that routine is part of what gives us energy um, for our life to show up for everything. It keeps us in good mental health, um, gives us patience for our kids. If we have little ones, there are so many benefits of it. So you don't want to push it further and further out and then have it, um, have it just be the harder, harder to restart because you're not in the right headspace for it. Um, make that decision to get right back into it. Um, don't, put it off. Don't procrastinate. Um, so again, a lot of this is just really making that decision for you. And I was actually, um, the last thing I wanted to share about this, I was listening to a book recently called effortless. And he was talking about like the whole book is about ways to make our decisions in life and life in general feel more effortless, um, to make it feel not so hard. And he was talking about that so many people, especially when it comes to working out or eating healthy, they wake up and they make a new decision each and every day. Like, okay, am I going to do my workout today or not? And the energy and mental capacity that it takes to make that decision every single day 
that takes a lot of energy from you to have to make that commitment to yourself day after day after day. Whereas if you just make one decision one time that I am going to work out four days a week or six days a week, whatever it is for you, if you make that decision once and then you all you have to do is follow through on that decision, it actually takes a lot less effort and a lot less energy to be successful in that because you're not having to confront and make a new commitment to yourself every single day. So that for me was a huge game changer just in general in my fitness journey when I finally was like, no, like this is a lifestyle that I am living and I am committing to this. Um, and it wasn't a, like, am I going to work out when I get home from work today kind of decision that I had been making for so many years. All right. So the next tip is all about planning and preparing. So the biggest thing that Annie and I were actually talking about, she brought this idea to it. Before you leave on your vacation, make sure you have frozen meats and vegetables. So when you come back, you have healthy food options. You don't have to sit there and look in your refrigerator and like, I guess we're eating out again tonight because we have nothing. Like you can jump right back in and eating a healthy dinner, even maybe a lunch, heat up your veggies and grill some chicken really quick and you have super fast and healthy food. Um, for those of you who are lucky enough to have de delivery for groceries, make sure you schedule a grocery delivery for when you get back. Maybe it's like two hours after you get back. Maybe it's the next morning before work, whatever it is, make sure you have that food ready and going. I don't have delivery services where I live. And so I make sure that I have a pickup scheduled the next day. So I don't have that excuse of, I don't have enough food. Um, don't pressure yourself to get up early to work out, but you still need to make sure you set aside time. So this is the hardest thing for me because I am a morning workout girl. And if I don't get it done in the morning, I struggle. So I beat myself up because I'm exhausted and I can't get out of bed after vacations. And so then I miss my normal workout time. And it's like this vicious cycle that I used to do. So now I just give myself grace. If I need to sleep in, sleep in. I have kids. So it's not like I'm like getting the hardcore sleep in. But if I need to sleep past 5 a.m., then I need to allow myself to do it. But I need to schedule in my day, just like a meeting of when that workout is going to happen. You either set out your workout clothes for the night before, so where you just put them on as soon as you get up. So there's no excuse you're wearing them. Or like I used to do when I worked full time, I would bring my workout clothes to work and I would change into them before I actually got in my car to go home because then I was in the clothes. And so I felt weird going home and my work workout clothes without working out. Yeah, definitely. Um, so our last big tip for you guys tonight is to have that accountability and support. And I will say this looks different for different people. Um, there are some people who are like, I don't really need that accountability and support. Like I am one of those people that I will show up for myself. If I have decided I'm going to do something, I'm going to follow through on that. But I also have found that when I am leading a group of other people, when I am in that position where I feel like people are looking up to me, I am also a lot more likely to do the things, to do the right thing, to lead by example. I know there are other people out there who they really need that commitment to somebody else. And maybe it's as simple as like putting something in your calendar on your phone, an alert that goes off that reminds you that can be a form of accountability, but there are lots of other forms of accountability out there um, and support out there too. So like a success partner, maybe you have a best friend or a spouse or 
Like maybe you just meet somebody online who is kind of going on the same journey that you are and you want to text with that person every single day and just check in for a few minutes. Kelly and I are actually, while we do do work together a lot with coaching, we also are workout accountability partners. Like I think almost every single day, it's not that we spend a ton of time on it, but we just like text to each other, like woke up, got my workout done this morning. And then we're chatting about other stuff, but we always have that check-in with each other. Um, find an accountability group. There are tons of groups out there that will give you the support that you need. There are virtual groups. There are in-person groups. Um, there are community groups. There are groups that have every different kind of person from every walk of life. So find somebody. And I know for me, I was like, this was a part of it where I was like, I don't really need that. I don't think I need that. But when it came down to it, I didn't realize how much that I did actually need that group of other people who were kind of in the same season of life or were, you know, had the same philosophy as I did and could be there to encourage me and cheer me on when I was having a tough time, like coming back from vacation. <laughs> um, so, you know, another thing you can do is also invest in a mentor or a coach. Um, for a lot of people, giving that little bit of financial commitment, if that is there, um, that can be a really big, big incentive to stick with things when you decide to invest in somebody like that. Um, but this gives you, and sometimes it can be a free relationship as well, um, more of like a give and a take, but somebody that has kind of walked that path before you and that you can follow in their footsteps and they are there to guide you and help you through these times where you might be stumbling a little bit or you've never been there before. So it is one of the best forms of support and accountability, in my opinion. I personally, even though I am a coach to other people, I also have my own mentors and coaches because we all could use that sometimes in our lives. Um, most of all, remember, and this is coming from somebody who is very independent and like I can like muscle my way through whatever life throws my way. You don't have to do it alone. Even if you can do it alone, that doesn't mean that you have to do it alone. So don't be afraid to reach out to somebody or reach out to a big group of people. Make it fun. Make it so you're not having to walk this path all by yourself and that you have other people or just even one person to check in with. All right. So if you don't already have something if you already have accountability group or an accountability friend or you meet a big group to the gym then that's fantastic you keep that up but if you're like everything you have said i don't have and i would love to have we run virtual fit clubs every single month it's actually ongoing but we have new themes every single month and i love august themes theme second chances. So it's your second chance to get your health back. It's your second chance to take control of your life, to help your mental health, to help your overall health, physical health. Like our virtual fit clubs are definitely not just for weight loss. Yes, there are people in there who lose weight for sure. And it's amazing. And we celebrate that. But I know for a lot of us, we are not working out for the six pack abs. We are working out to help us get through a lot of other things in life, parenting, mental health, like, oh my goodness, so many things. So these virtual fit clubs are really just that accountability partner at your fingertips. It is a super simple app. It takes two seconds to log into, you get cheered on. And these are some results that some of our members have had, including Annie and I. And what you see right here is obviously physical transformations, but usually you can also see in the after photos that more than physical transformations have happened. 
Yeah, absolutely. And like Kelly said, so you do get lifetime access to our online virtual community, which is amazing, but you also get so many other things when you're, you get membership to our groups. Um, you get our total solution. So you get your workouts for an entire year. Um, these are streaming workouts that, and we actually have, um, so these, how it is right now, let me start over how it is right now. You have programs that you can stream on demand at any time that you want. Um, most of it's laid out in a program format. So you always know what workout to do. You know, what's on the calendar and you can kind of, you know, work your way through a program. We also super exciting next month as in like September, cause we're almost in August one month from now, we have live interactive workouts coming. So we will have daily workout classes for those of you who are maybe you like that live class environment better and need that like appointment time to show up to. So that is coming as well. Um, you will also get both of our nutrition programs included with your total solution pack. Um, it's basically two different approaches to healthy eating. And these are like online courses, which are going to teach you the ins and outs of it. It's not a diet. It's not deprivation. It's not something temporary. These are long-term lifetime healthy eating systems that you can use to keep you on track um, and fueling your body for the best life. Um, you will also get one of our supplements to try, either our superfood shake or our pre and post workout. And then of course you get us as your coaches to give you all of that amazing support and our group, like we mentioned. Um, so these are on sale. It comes with a lot of stuff. These are on sale this month, starting at $140. So again, that is setting you up for an entire year and then some of success. So I want to read this quote first, and then I will kind of talk about it. So the greatest force on the planet is that we become consistent and congruent with the standards of our peer group by Ed Milet. So the biggest things that stand out to me with this quote is consistency. I have been doing, well, I've been doing workouts my entire life because I was a collegiate athlete, but I have been doing these at-home workouts with accountability group for five years now, and it has 100% changed my life. The consistency of having people cheer me on has gotten me through the newborn stage of life, grief stage of life, this going to school stage of life, the changing jobs and moving. And I am like Annie, where usually if I set a goal, like I'm going to do it, but there are things in life that are going to throw rocks at you and be like, you yeah, know, you're not. And without these groups and without this sisterhood that you have, well, and gentlemanhood, <laughs> we do have some guys um, <laughs> without that. I know that for me personally, 10 months ago, this journey would have stopped. I would not be showing up right now. I would not be doing my workouts. I would definitely not be fueling my body right. And it's because life threw a ginormous rock at me. And I know that I'm not the only one in this group. And the congruency, the consistency of everybody in this group is just beyond amazing. And I love how we all cheer each other on. Like somebody will come in and have a rough day. And like, you'll see all these comments of like, you did it. You still did it. You came around, you did your workout or like, it's okay. Tomorrow's another day because Annie and I are all about don't beat yourself up for the past. If you missed your workout today, you missed your workout today, take control tomorrow and you will get it. So that peer group is really for me, especially, and I'm going to talk for Annie now, because I know it's true. It's why we are successful with our health and fitness journeys. It's why our after photos have bigger smiles. Absolutely. So thank you so much, everybody, for either hopping on live with us tonight, or if you are watching the recording, thank you so much for taking the time out of your 
busy schedule and busy life to just learn a little bit more. And I hope these tips, whether you do decide now or in a few months to talk with us more about our fit club. Um, hopefully these tips have really helped you be able to take that no matter what you were doing with your health and fitness and be successful because that is what counts. Um, I know that some people are going to come and be members of our fit club and that is amazing, but that's not the point. The point is that you guys are living your best life, that you are living the best version of your, you, whatever that looks like for you and whatever season of life you're in. Um, so if you are ready to get started, if the fit club sounds amazing, and that is exactly what you need, reach out to the coach who invited you here today. And we cannot wait to do this with you. And if not, we cannot wait to hear about all of your successes and how you use these tips going forward in your health and fitness journey. And definitely keep in touch with us. We cannot wait to see what you accomplish. So thank you so much for joining us. And we will chat with everybody who is here or watching very soon.